Welcome to my channel. It's the HMAR Mobile Tech, and I'm working on a 2006 Toyota Corolla with a 1.8 liter. I've got an EVAP problem, and the fault codes that I have are all relating to leaks in the system. So what I've done here is I've got my smoker, which is inducing smoke into the pipe that goes to the charcoal canister and that comes directly from the engine and the canister purge valve. One real important thing that I wanted to point out is that if you have any type of an EVAP code that says specifically EVAP leak detected, you'll want to check your gas cap first. So make sure that the gas cap is on tight first of all and then make sure that you look in here at that little seal and make sure it's not cracked and definitely make sure it's there and then uh, just follow the steps on the cap it just says tighten until one click and that's tight that's all you want to do so let's leave no stone unturned and let's do the basics brilliantly check everything going from your vacuum supply to the canister purge valve all the way back to the canister charcoal canister itself Make sure that you don't have any leaks there. I got a spark plug uh, closing off this end here. This is the vacuum supply hose that goes from the engine right there. And then it just kind of went and fed under through here and went over to our EVAP canister purge valve right there. So I just disconnected it right there. And then I'm just gonna plug the smoke in here. As you can hear, my little smoker, this, this speed of it gets higher and which means that I've got a lot of pressure in there. So you can see here there's no leak in this hose here. Just double check to make sure that this hose here that goes to your pipe back there is good as well. This is how you can find out if you have a leak from this point here all the way back to the canister, the EVAP canister in the rear of the vehicle. So I'll take you back here and I'll show you how we know. This is how I know I got the right hose. And here's the EVAP canister right here. And this hose just plugged in right there. And so I got my smoke coming out. I put a spark plug in the end because it, it's really good for plugging off open hoses like this. And you'll just wait just a little bit. And how you're gonna know that you don't have a leak in this that particular section is that as soon as you pull this out, listen hear that so I know that the system is good now you can also check the lines that go all the way from back here all the way to the front and you could just sit and watch and look for leaks going from all the way to the front all the way to the back where you've sectioned off this area to isolate to check for leaks okay don't forget to check the cancer purge valve we're gonna do a decay test on it and what this is going to show us is that this valve can hold vacuum Normal engine vacuum is somewhere between 20 and 15 inches of vacuum. So as you can see here, I got my Mighty Vac in this shot here connected up to where the hose is going to go, that the vacuum supply comes from the engine is going to go here. So you want to connect it up here and then you want to put your vacuum on it. And so I'm just going to put it to around 20 and then just watch it for just a few minutes and make sure that you don't have any any decay because the computer is going to be watching this and if there's even the, the tiniest bit amount of decay drop in vacuum it's going to pick up on it and then you're going to get a fault code again for leak detected in the evap system either small leak or large leak or whatever the case is so you want to just make sure that you just do this for a few minutes and make sure that it doesn't drop. If it doesn't drop within three to five minutes, then I would say that that would suffice. And then that would that would say that this canister purge valve is in good working condition. There is a second test that you need to do with the scan tool, which is the power and control. And to see if, you, if you're getting power to the electrical connector when you do a bi-directional control. I'm going to test this canister purge valve on this uh, Toyota Corolla. And I have my Launch Pro Mini Scan tool hooked up here into actuation. And I'm going to test 
the function of power and control of the purge valve. So then I just press the on button to activate it. And then we can hear it right there ticking. You can feel it ticking. So this, what this tells us here is that the computer is in control of this circuit here for the canister purge valve. So the control side is working beautifully. And then I'm gonna use this test slide in the next clip. So I've got the canister purge valve disconnected. And then I've used some small diameter T-pins. And then I've connected my alligator leads. And make sure that you use a fuse. And then I've got it going to just a trailer light bulb. So I'm gonna activate it this way. This is gonna check the integrity of the circuit for the power side to make sure we don't have any shorts to voltage, shorts to ground or anything like that going on and we everything is good from the fuse all the way to the computer, all the way back out to this light bulb here to this connector. So there we go. I'll turn it off and I'll turn it on again. So that's exactly what it looks like when we've got control and power all in one and, and the circuit is working perfectly. We've got a bright light here, so I know the circuit's good. I'm gonna call this a good canister purge valve here. So if after all of your inspection, you still can't seem to find any leaks or have any issues with the canister purge valve, then you might wanna start looking at the charcoal canister itself and all the connecting pipes and hoses back there around the gas tank area. And that would be your, your next steps in trying to diagnose this problem. So a good visual inspection, you can't beat that. So do a good visual inspection, do the basics brilliantly. You did a good job, see you next time.